Hello, my name is Sip Mendes. Welcome to Sip's Techie Tips. In this video, we're going to look at MPC Beats. And we're going to set up my little MIDI controller here. My Akai MPK Mini MK3. <laughs> and this is a very, very nice instrument. This is a very nice MIDI because it has uh, pads and it also has the keyboard. And I'll show you how to set it up so that you can use those simultaneously. But before we do that, I wanna thank everybody who's been watching the videos. It's been great. And especially like people that leave comments. If you've got a question, leave me a comment and I'll work on finding you an answer. And I also wanna thank subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. And if you want to be notified of each new video, remember, click on the bell. So let's get started. Let's see how to add an instrument to MPC Beats. When you start the uh, software, this is basically what it looks like. And we're going to start with an empty project. And this is usually the basic screen that you get. This I information turns on this panel here. Now, first thing to do is go here where it says sequence. I'm going to double click, and this is going to be for drums and piano. We're going to add two instruments. Looks like the and sign didn't pick up. All right. Then we're going to create our first track. And that's this one here. We double click on it and we're going to call it Drum Kit. Now, this is, these are the only things you see about the drum kit right now. There's a drum kit button and a key group button. And there's other things, plugins, MIDI, and things like that. Now, to change the appearance of this, we go up here where there's these three little lines. And we're going to turn on what we need to see. I need to see the input port. I need to see the input channel. And I need to see the um, mono solo buttons. And I don't need to see the key range. Right now it says he's going to get his input from all ports. Well, I want to be more specific. So I drop the list and I pick the MPK Mini 3. Because it is attached. It's attached through this USB cord here. Now, when I was in the editor, I assigned the keypads, the drum pads, to channel 10. And that takes care of that. And if, you, if I click on them, you can see them highlighting down here. But, all right, so we, we know that's working. And if I click on the... Bank A B switch, press it down, then you will see that the second bank is open, is uh, flashing. Okay, so that's pretty much connected and ready to go. I'm going to add another instrument. So I go to this unused, double click there, and I'm going to call that my piano. Press enter. Now this says drum and I'm going to switch to key group and you can see the little <laughs> piano up here now and it says all ports. I want to be more specific. I want MPK mini and input channel says all. I want to go only channel one is the one I want and now the piano should be ready to go 
there they go there's something there that are flashing so it is connected it is getting input okay I want to get rid of this for a minute and I can turn it off these are on off buttons all right these over here are your browser buttons there's a media browser there is a expansion browser this is for your your packs these up here these are your music and instrument packs you can click on them and you'll see them like this when you click on one and scroll down then you can see what's in it there are programs there are samples and there are sequences and then the, the last browser button the third one is a file browser and you see everything as text and folders so we're going to go back to the first one and uh, I'm going to change my track to um, drum kits drum kit and I'm going to get my drum kit from the uh, producer kit okay and it has a filter so I'm gonna go to program and it has a type and I'm gonna click on kit I'm gonna use a drum machine there's a drum and bass and that's something different so bass and it says there's three kits included and the kits are groups of uh, drum drums and cymbals and percussion instruments already done so I'm going to pick the second one the uh, 909 and to assign it to the drums all I need to do is click on it drag it and put it up here on the track and it's loading them up and they should be ready to go all right you can they sound like they have very low volume low velocity on my um, mini I'm going to press full level and that will make a much louder they'll play at full volume I can put them even louder that sounds good all right so that took care of the drums now I'm gonna go over here to my piano for a minute or two and we're gonna do the same thing but the drum uh, the uh, the piano I'm looking for is in this pack over here this is the F9 instruments expansion pack I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna turn some things off okay so there's programs and here are my available stuff uh, instruments I'm gonna click on instruments and there's piano click on piano and there's synthesizers but I'm just gonna look at pianos now to get a sample of what I'm getting I have to turn on this little speaker this is called autoplay and every time I switch it'll play a sample to replay it without switching you can click on the play button and hold it down and I'll go back to one I'm gonna go with the third one here looks like it says uber tines I'm gonna click it and drag it over here to my track and so it brought on all the samples for the piano and everything looks good So that's my piano 
Let's see here. So that works pretty good. Now if I press my pads at this point, I also get piano sounds. If I switched, I'm going to switch my view over here to track view. And I can see my drum kit and I can see my piano right here. I can see both of them at the same time. And um, when you click on one and it darkens like that, that means it has the attention or focus. So there's my drums and my piano keys are dead. <laughs> if I click on piano, my key bed is active, but my drums, no, not so much. Now, here's a curious thing. So if I want to listen to both instruments simultaneously, I need to arm both channels. If I click on it, that one's armed. Keyboard's not. If I click on on uh, piano, piano is, and uh, drums aren't. If I hold down control on my keyboard and click armed, then my piano works, but my drum kit doesn't. But if I click on the drum kit, then they both work. And that's how it should be set up. So remember, the drum kit must be active and both buttons, arm buttons, must be armed. And to, to arm both of them, hold down control. Well, thank you so much for watching the videos. I really appreciate that. I hope you learned something. I know I always do. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if not, you can give me a thumbs down. That's all right, too. If you've got a question or comment, leave it in the space below, and I'll try to find you an answer. If you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. And if you want to be notified of each new video, click on the bell. Until next time, take care.